Okay, gonna show you that oneness heretics actually make Jesus Christ a liar in John chapter 5, verse 30 to 47. Read to you what it says. It says, in verse 30, this is Jesus speaking, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father which hath sent me. For if I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. There is another that beareth witness of me, and I know that witness which he witnesseth is of me, or of me is true. I sent unto John, and he bear witness unto the truth, but I receive my test or receive not testimony from man, but these things I say that ye might be saved. Uh, he has a burning and, sh and a shining light, and ye were willing for a season to rejoice in his light. But I have, uh, but ha I have, greater witness than that of John, for the works which the Father hath given to me to finish the same works I do bear witness of me, and the Father hath sent me, and the Father himself, which hath sent me, hath borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time nor seen his shape, and ye have not his uh, word abiding in you, for whom he hath sent uh, him, he believe not. Search the scriptures, for in them you think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me, and ye will not come to me, that ye might have life. I, I receive not the honor from men, uh, but, I, but I know unto you, not the best at reading, I do apologize, but I know you, that ye have not the love of, or ye have not the love of God in you. I come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not, for if another shall come in his own name, uh, him will ye receive. How can ye believe, which receive honor one of another, and seek not the honor uh, that cometh from God only? Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuseth you, even Moses, in whom ye trust. For if ye had believed Moses, ye would have believed me, for he wrote of me. Interesting. For if ye believe not his writings, how shall ye, how shall ye believe my words? One that says that God, there's no separation, Jesus is just basically, or God is just one being who just manifests himself. It's a weird doctrine. Uh, they make Jesus Christ a liar in John chapter 5, verse 30 to 47. Because Jesus is the Father, bear, Father bears witness of him, and he bears witness of the Father. How does that work if they're not separate? How, how does that work if they're not, if there's not a distinction in the Godhead? And, and Jesus says the Father sent him. If it, again, if oneness is true, how does that work? Would the Jesus send himself, or did Jesus, you know, and here's how the Godhead works. Basically, Jesus Christ is the body, the Father is the soul, the Holy Ghost is the spirit. Man is made in the image of God. God says in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, let us make man in our image. So you see a plurality there. There is basically three uh, members of the Godhead. And man has a body, soul, and spirit. Because, God, again, man is made in the image and likeness of God, according to Genesis 1, 26, 27. Man, according to 1 Thessalonians 5.23, man has a body, soul, and spirit. Well, same with God. God has a body, soul, and spirit. And the Father sent the Son, basically. Again, if I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. There's another that beareth witness of me. Not true if oneness is the correct doctrine. It doesn't make any sense. So I wanted to get that out there. Oneness heretics do make... And again, I get accused of being oneness. I get accused of being modalist. Because uh, I believe in the biblical God. and I don't believe in the uh, pagan trinity. I'm not oneness. I, I do believe in the separation and distinction of the Godhead. What I don't believe is that God is three persons that all claim the title of God, but then somehow they're not three gods, they're one God, and they're co-equal and co-eternal and all this other extra-biblical, in fact, unbiblical stuff. I mean, nowhere does the Bible ever say that God is, is um, co-eternal, co-equal. In fact, the word Trinity is not even in the Bible. Uh, God is never called three persons. Uh, the only reference to the word person in the Bible in reference to God is it just one it just person uh, singular never three persons or or God the Son God the Holy Ghost proper term is Son of God and the Holy Ghost not God the Holy Ghost but so I'm not a Trinitarian but also I'm not oneness oneness is a heresy the Godhead is body soul and spirit Father is the soul Jesus Christ the Son of God is the body the Holy Ghost is the spirit three in one first John five seven but John chapter 5, verse 30 to 47, proves modalism, or proves oneness and modalism to be false. Because the Father sent the Son, and the Father bears witness of Jesus Christ. So there is obviously a separation and distinction there. And in other chapters, like in, in the, book, the Gospel of John, Jesus talks about how, he, how he's doing the will of the Father. So you see that Jesus is doing the will of God the Father. Now, again, it doesn't prove they're, doesn't prove they're two separate persons. It just proves that 
this will be the, the Godhead can separate, and there is obviously a hierarchy in the Godhead too. But if, according to oneness, this will be God is basically Jesus in eternity. Jesus in it's weird, and and they make they make God a liar in this chapter. So don't be deceived by oneness. It is a heresy. Uh, there is a, there is a hierarchy in the Godhead. There is a system of of separation. There's a the body, soul, and spirit can separate. But they're not three persons, and they're also not just one spirit that just manifests himself as a modalist claim. But yeah, I wanted to get that out there. Oneness heretics make God a liar in John chapter 5, verse 30 to 47. The Father bears witness of Jesus. He sent Jesus Christ. He was doing the will of the Father. So don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye.